Hi guys, Dr. B here. This is my lecture for electron configuration without an energy level diagram. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's important to know about the periodic table that the energy level changes as it goes up. So from 4s, like we saw in our energy level diagrams, from 4s you go to 3d, then 4p. And then if you'll notice, 6s, the next level is 4f, and then 5d, then 6p, then 7s, and all the type of stuff. But we usually don't deal with those types of elements anyway, so we can, we'll be good with that. So looking at this blank periodic table, um, on the far left side you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Those are the energy levels, the, the, lo the, the levels around a nucleus, like in a Bohr model. So it's called yeah, the S block, D block, P block, and F block. So S, P, D, F, those sound like the suborbitals we talked about in class recently. So except, f so f you see here, we have the S orbitals here. And then this is actually helium. So I, I will t let you in on a little secret. The, um, the electron configuration for helium is 1s2. So technically, helium belongs over here. But the reason why they put it all on this um, last column, it's because it actually is part of the noble gas family, and it behaves like them as well. That's why they do it like that, unfortunately. So later on in this uh, unit, we're going to talk about the atomic families, the properties they have, etc. But, you know, just kind of precursor for that. So you go from the S block, you go across, like we did our configuration, for example, for neon is 1s2, 2s2, then you go across to the P block, 2p, and then you just kind of count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You use a periodic table to count it out loud, to count it, I mean, I'm sorry. So from 3s, you go to 3p. After 4s, we say we go down to 3d, and then... 4p over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 5s, 2, 4d, 10, 5p, 6. 6s, and after 6s, this, this part kind of plugs into there. So it becomes 4f, 5d, then 6p, 7s, uh, 5f, 6d and 7p like i said we won't really do you know too much with those but you should at least know how this is so how do you figure out like what is the atom the electron configuration so you have to find your atom's atomic number and memorize the basic lists understand electron configuration memorize the order of orbitals and then fill in the orbitals according to the number of electrons in your atom so finding your atom's atomic number, the specific, um, so you, atomic number, like I said in class, deals with the number of protons. But if we're dealing with uncharged atoms or stable neutral atoms, the number of protons would equal the number of electrons. So when you do that, after you do that, you can kind of figure out the configuration. But remember the basic list of orbitals, how it goes. S, P, D, then F. Understanding electron configuration notation. <coughs> Remember that you're writing out, like for example, if I said, mm, I can't pick one right now. My, why can't I pick one? So fluorine, 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. Writing out to the best of my abilities. But so the numbers in the front, that's the sub the levels. The s is the type of orbital, and then the superscript number is the number of electrons that are present in that orbital. So then you memorize the order of the, of the orbital, the order of the orbitals, like 4s, then 3d, 4p, stuff like that. 1s2, 2s, 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, 4p, 5s. If you want to, you can probably take your paper periodic table and kind of put down the numbers and the blocks, and I can walk you all through that as well if you need help with that. Then you fill in the orbitals according to the number of electrons in your atom. So if you know that calcium, an uncharged calcium atom, has 20 electrons because its atomic number is 20, you just kind of fill out the electron configuration. Excuse me. So, 1s2, 
2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. 2 plus 4, so 2, 2, so that's 4, plus 6 is 10, 12, 16. Hold on. <laughs> My bad, hold on. Let me see, so I have 12 here. 14, 16, 18, 20. There you go. My bad. Cool. We're good. Okay. So full electron configurations. Looking at your periodic table. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. Iron is Fe. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d6. Other example, so carbon. Carbon has a certain amount of protons, so does selenium. Carbon, its atomic number is six, so six electrons. 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. Selenium has 34. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d, let me see, we have 2, 4, 10, 12, plus 6, 18, plus 2 is 20, 3d, 10, 4p, let's see, 4p4, 4? <coughs> excuse me, 4, 10, 12, 18 plus 2 is 20, 34, yep, sorry I had kind of a brain fart, my bad. So noble gas configuration. So why are the noble gases called noble gases? So just think about, notice how I put it in the back, the royals, but they want to deal with the peasants. They want to do this. They don't want to do that. They just want to be left alone because they're rich and fat and all that type of stuff. So noble gases, they're elements that are nearly non-reactive, partially due to the fact that they have their outermost shell, their valence shell is full. The noble gases are at the far right of our periodic table. How to figure out, so how do you figure out the noble gas configuration? So let's look at these two energy level diagrams for argon and potassium. You'll notice that here, this is the same as that. All you have left over is just this 4s1 present. So think about that. So the noble, sorry, the electron configuration for argon it is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. Four, this is for argon. For potassium, it is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1. So all of this is the same thing. All of that is actually argon. And there's a total of 18 electrons. And all you have left is just 4s1. That is the noble gas configuration for potassium. So you're thinking, well, what's noble, where are the noble gas is at? Reminder, it is at the far right of the periodic table. Do you want to get to the closest noble gas to do this? Sure, but you can't, for example, with potassium, you can't go to... Krypton, <laughs> get it because you're Superman, anyway, but you can't go to Krypton because you're adding electrons that are not present. All you're doing with noble gas configuration is just substituting the noble gas part that's there already. So the 1s2, 2s2, all the way to 3p6 is argon and it's already present in the potassium and you're just shorthanding it, so to speak. So how do we get the noble gas configuration for sodium 
Sorry, what? I don't know why I said it like that. Or sodium. <laughs> so you find sodium. You backtrack until you hit a uh, noble gas. So I'm going to put neon in brackets. There's a total of 10 electrons. Now I'm just going to add 3s1 because there's a total of 11 electrons. Use your periodic table, gentlemen, to figure out Um, you have to figure out the, uh, the letter, the numbers, the correct letters and all the type of stuff. Iron is Fe. So you find your, find it and it's 26 electrons in a neutral stable atom of iron. So then let's look, where is the nearest noble gas? We're looking, we're looking, we're looking. Oh, I backtrack and I hit argon again. So it's argon. 18 and you fill in the rest just going up to, uh, to iron i'm sorry 4s2 3d6 all right that's it for now if you have any questions please let me know thanks bye